Hello everybody, this is Gus from a Skewed Reviews. And it's Saturday, so you know what that means. It's a new episode of Cinema Society Saturday. And if you don't know what that is, I'm part of a group called Cinema Society Saturday, where we are all huge fans of horror films. So what we do is every week, we randomly are given a theme, then we are randomly paired up, and with our partners, we give each other a movie that fits within the theme that we then have to review. So this week, our theme was... Werewolves. So one of the two partners that I had for this week gave me the film of... Wolves. My partner was Bambi, also known as That One Final Girl. Definitely go and check her out if you're not already doing so. She's got some really great content. So Wolves is a 2014 film that was written and directed by David Hayter. So in this film, we have our main character of Caden, who is played by Lucas Till. Now, Caden is living an average everyday life for a teenager slash 18 year old. I'm not exactly sure how old he's supposed to be. But what ends up happening is one day at a football game, he just unleashes the beast and almost takes out a kid. Now from there, things keep getting worse and worse. And apparently it gets to the point where the wolf fully takes over and he unalives his parents. He then runs away from home and his entire life and eventually runs into another werewolf named Wild Joe. Joe manages to direct Caden to an area where he might be able to get some answers about his lineage. So Caden then heads to a town called Lupine Ridge a bit on the nose, but you know, that's where he ends up going. It's here that he meets a nice older couple called the Tollermans. They manage to take him in and offer him a job while he's here in town. He then also meets a beautiful young woman named Angelina. Now, of course, not everything goes well for him in this town as he also meets Connor, played by Jason Momoa. Connor is definitely a loose cannon and another werewolf. What a shocker. So the movie very much becomes about can Caden escape his past, set up his future, and of course figure out his true history. So the movie Wolves, in my opinion, is very much a teen horror movie, kind of where there's not really anything scary about it. There's some cool supernatural elements, but a lot of it is all about love and sex and just, I don't know, it's, it's a little bit Twilight-ish, which if you like Twilight, Sorry, not trying to insult you. Lucas Till as the main character is okay. I've never really liked his acting all that much. You probably recognize him from either the newer MacGyver series or from some of the newer X-Men films. And then of course there's Jason Momoa, which almost every time he's super charismatic on screen. So he's at the very least entertaining. So for me, when it comes to Wolves, I'm gonna give this one a two out of five. Now, as I mentioned, please go and check out my partner's Bambi's stuff. It's really fun to watch. And also for another good reason, because I gave her a film as well this week. And I gave her the 2009 film, Wolvesbane, which I've never actually seen it, but from what I can tell from the trailer, it might also be another teen horror. So maybe this was a good trade. But one of the biggest reasons that I suggested this one is Christy Carlson Romano is in it. So hopefully you enjoyed this week's episode of Cinema Society Saturday. And if you'd like to see what everyone else in the group put up for their videos, check out the hashtag Cinema Society Saturday.